Well, folks, uh, first of all, um, concluding this uh, tour with uh, Admiral Linda Fagan, Vice Commander of the Coast Guard, soon to be the Commander of the Coast Guard, um, and Administrator uh, Spinard of NOAA. Um, it uh, really is amazing what, uh, what you all do uh, to protect us, and it's astounding. I still marvel at uh, the idea that somebody jumps out of a perfectly good helicopter in the middle of the ocean uh, to save people. <laughs> but it really is amazing what you all do. You know, I met with some of these brave women and men uh, performing these high-risk missions, and they are trying to help uh, not only uh, deal with but predict the hurricanes, the severity of them, where they're going to land, and flying right into the heart of them. I, uh, including the dedicated personnel from the Air Force, NOAA, the Coast Guard, uh, who help warn about hurricanes that are forming and predict their strength, what they're likely to be, and, uh, and keep Americans safe. But uh, it's not going to, this job's not going to slow up anytime soon. It's likely to get, I'm here to get a read on what's going to happen, what the hurricane season this year is going to look like, but we're prepared for upcoming hurricane season. My message to all Americans is straightforward. We know hurricanes are coming our way. They grow more extreme every season thus far. Pay attention to the hurricane warnings and, and, and follow. Follow the guidance of your local authorities. While you do everything you can to protect yourself and your families, I promise you, we, all of us here, are going to do everything we can to protect you. Our top priority is to help Americans prevent, prepare, and respond in every community to what we're going to, what, what's going to happen. And our, you know, one of our charges uh, and uh, is that, well, put another way, one of the changes I directed is that to ensure that the piles of paperwork and the bu bureaucratic excuse, excuses we've been using in the past sometimes don't stand in the way of getting help to the most disadvantaged communities as fast as possible. And I know it's not preventing, but in the aftermath, yeah, you've done an incredible job. You've done an incredible job making sure we're not leaving anybody behind. Thank you. And I've, unfortunately, I've, I've uh, visited too many devastated areas with you, hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, etc. You do an incredible job. And that's why uh, HUD and Marsha Fudd, Secretary of HUD, and the SBA Administrator, Isabel Guzman, uh, is uh, briefed me today along with FEMA and, uh, and uh, Administrator Griswell. Um, and 2021 was the third most active hurricane season ever recorded, including the first hurricane to hit the Northeast in 30 years, killing more than 100 people and causing billions, billions of dollars in damage. And given the climate crisis, it's likely to uh, we expect another tough hurricane season. And storms are going to be more intense, and we're going to have shorter notice, as we saw last year with Hurricane Ida. That's why the work of these women and men is so important. And we're going to continue to ensure hurricane hunters and their partners have what they need to get their job done. It's about, it's not about red states and blue states. It's about helping communities prepare having their back when the hurricane strikes and being there to help, being the, there to help clear the roads, rebuild the main streets so families can get back to their lives. And uh, so uh, we don't have a moment to lose, but I want to thank the leaders and the personnel assembled here for all the work you do, and I mean that sincerely. And uh, I look forward to uh, hearing from you. And I've had the opportunity to with notable exception, I can only think of one, visit every serious area that has been affected by fires, hurricanes, tornadoes. You know, uh, as I was talking to uh, Deanne, uh, our administrator, uh, yesterday, uh, you know, we've lost more territory burned to the ground because of fires, forest fires, <coughs> than the entire state of New Jersey. <coughs> from the New York border all the way down to the end of New Jersey. More has been lost. It's an enormous amount of damage. And the firefighters are risking their lives and losing it sometimes. 
So I wish everybody, I think they do know, but I wish they knew how serious, how prepared, and how much risk all of your folks take in order to get things done. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and I'm ready to be briefed on all you have to tell me, and, and I'm sure you're going to tell me no hurricanes this year.